Hello, Irby here to review with the Macadamia Natural Oral Deep Repair Mask. First, let's talk about the container that it comes in and the claims that this product makes. The container is 8.5 fluid ounces and it looks like this. I just want to point out that the real product, it looks um, peachy and it has a bit of like a satiny sheen to it. So if you're looking to purchase this product, make sure that this is it because I've seen online a lot of people getting fake product for the same price and it's relatively expensive so if you're purchasing it my greatest advice would be that you purchase directly from a salon or from a reputable website why i purchased this product was at the time so nine months ago i was actually i had a lot of blonde in my hair or i was trying to go blonde and my hairdresser recommended that, that i get this she said it would be really really great help restore some moisture and it would it would help with manageability now, this product I've seen online that it ranges between $20 and $35. The, uh, the real retail price of this is between $30 and $35. So if you're getting this for under $20, I can almost guarantee that it is a fake product or you found yourself the best sale in the world. I've never seen it retail for under $30. This is including at the drugstore because I know some drugstores carry this now. Even there, it's all over $30. I've never seen it for under 30. Claims that this product makes are Deep Repair Mask is a hair reconstructor that will penetrate and rebuild damaged hair for improved health, shine, and elasticity. Great for color treated and coarse hair. How to use, liberally comb through clean wet hair and allow for up to seven minutes of penetration before rinsing. Do not, or no heat necessary. Deep repair mask is an intense treatment. Used no more than twice a week. The pros. The first thing I noticed about this product when I picked it up was that they don't conduct animal testing and therefore it is cruelty free. Love that about it. I really, really love the smell. I actually like that it has a really thick consistency because I find when I do deep repair masks on my hair, which isn't really the case anymore, but when I do do, I like a thick consistency because when I put it in, sometimes I just like to put it in and let it sit there for a while. And I find that when they're thicker, they don't run or drip as much. This product actually does make your hair buttery soft as some say, but while it does make your hair buttery soft and it feels like it's been rebuilt and repaired this product builds up on your hair within three or four uses the more you use it the more it builds up yes they all build up on your hair there is not one product in the world that will legitimately rebuild your hair or reconstruct it it's it's actually impossible. So any company that claims that, I want you to know it's not true. It's just not how things work. What they do do is coat the hair shaft and give the illusion of healthier, shinier hair. Now, some products are significantly better at doing this than others, and the more high-end you go in the salon, the better, okay? The better results you tend to get. This product here for the price point does not achieve the results that I expected, okay? I paid $36 for this 8.5 fluid ounce container um, and I was exceptionally disappointed. The first time I used it, it was awesome. I actually really loved the results, but then in the second week, I thought my hair was getting a little bit more duller and it felt heavier. Third time around, it was even a little bit worse and it got greasier really quick. At that point, I said to myself, clearly this is just one of those products that builds up on the hair and builds up on its own hype. It is really well marketed, however, it does not deliver in my opinion at all. You can see how much of the product I've actually used in nine months. I haven't even used half of it. Usually when you buy it, it it's about as full up to this like green line. Okay, it's not all the way to the top. So I haven't used most of it. The only time I'll actually use this product is like if I have something, if I have like an event to go to or something like that and I want like really shiny hair, I will wash my hair with a clarifying shampoo and then I'll use this only once and then the following day or whenever I wash my hair next, I make sure I clarify it again because I don't want the buildup of my hair. So it is, I still do use it as a trick, but I actually haven't used this in over two months now and I have 
no plans on using it anytime soon. I felt like it also weighed my hair down significantly so after a blow dry I found that it didn't hold its shape as well and it also got greasier uh, much faster as the weeks went on. And another con of course is the price point, especially uh, failing to deliver to the kind of standards that I have when it comes to hair care products. Now in all fairness, okay, every product works different for everybody. Something that I don't like or I wouldn't buy again, that doesn't mean it's not gonna work for you. If I had to make a recommendation based on my prior experience as a hairdresser, I would not recommend this product for people with fine, thin, or very little hair because you run the risk of getting that stringy look because it is so heavy. Also people who have generally healthy hair, it's not really gonna do much for you except coat it and maybe dull it out, especially if you already have shiny hair to begin with. Who I would recommend this for is somebody who has dry, really damaged hair, someone who has frizzy or curly, really curly hair that you wanna try and contain and manage and maybe you want a little bit of weight on it. This I would recommend at that point. So would I buy this product again? I would not. It's n I feel like it's not worth the money. And if you're actually looking at this and are asking yourself, do you, I want to make the investment but you're on a budget? I would not recommend doing so. I would say go out either to the drugstore or the hairdressers and look for a $15 hair treatment because uh, the results that I got with this is something I would have expected something around the $15 price point to be honest with you. While I do love some aspects of it, I really think it's an overhyped product and that there is a reason why so many people either really love it or really hate it. I don't really love it or hate it, but I wouldn't buy it again. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you actually have had experiences with this product or if you go out and get it and you try it, please let me know in the comment section below what your experiences were like with it. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much and don't forget to comment, like, and hit that subscribe button. I post videos every Mondays and Thursdays. Thursdays usually my Invisalign or a review video and Mondays is my weight loss journey. So thank you so much once again. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you back here on Monday. Take care and bye.